In this video, we're going to be using Sterling Creamy Coconut and the Timeless Slim Edition Razor in Stainless Steel. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as you can see, I'm back in the home den. We'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. But first, let's get to the soap for today, which is Sterman, Sterling, already tongue twisted. That's a bad sign. Sterling Creamy Coconut. And this is just a basic creamy coconut type scent. Scent strength right at medium. And as you can see, I scraped a sample out of there. Uh, consistency on this soap, by the way, is it's soft, but more towards, uh, I would say, medium. So it's not goopy soft. We don't like that, as you know. The price on this is absolutely fantastic. $13.75 for 5.8 ounces, or on a cost chart there, an exceptional $2.37 an ounce. This is a tallow-based soap. We'll show you the ingredients right there. I always get a great shave from Sterling products. The soap lathers easily. It's easy to use. It's not finicky. It's not soft and goopy. And I really enjoy it, as you well know. The razor for today is the Timeless Slim Edition. And this is the open comb version. And once again, I'll show you that I love the way Timeless rounds those combs so they don't feel pointy. I think that is a superb uh, design. And I really, really like this razor. I would love to have one of these in titanium. Maybe at some point I'll, I'll do that. But this is an excellent razor. These start at 195, so this is definitely a premium razor. A 304 stainless steel, machined here in the United States by the Timeless folks, and they make beautiful razors. Uh, the, the blade gap on this one, by the way, is 0.5, if you're interested in that. And so let's just get right into it today. Again, as you can see, I'm home. I have about uh, around 24 hours growth there, and we're gonna wet the face here with our mister and just get right back into it we have our sterling lathered up in our captain's choice copper bowl and the brush for today is the uh, lancaster there we go razor works brush and i've got a nice lather here as i always get with sterling easy to use great stuff all the time never have any trouble with sterling now that said i did encounter a gentleman who said uh, in his environment for whatever reason the way he put it was the, the soaps crystallize. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I guess it maybe gets hard and flaky. I'm not sure, sir, if you had to see this, you can, uh, you can, you know, comment below. But anyway, keep in mind that your environment does factor into the way soaps lather and so on. So just because you, you may use a soap very well, doesn't mean the next person will always use it well. Maybe their water's hard or who knows, you know, based on their conditions. Things could be different, but I think Sterling works well for most people, generally speaking. Easy to use, easy to lather, holds water well. It's very, very budget-friendly, and uh, they have tons of different scents from, uh, you know, cologne dupes to fruity scents to a little bit of everything, actually, and they have lots of them, so really great company. Most people seem to really enjoy Sterling, and for me, I really enjoy it um, because it's good stuff. They are good people, and the lathering is just easy. It's, again, and I repeat this more and more because as time goes on, when things aren't fun to use, I'm just not going to use it. I don't have time for that. You know, I want to enjoy, enjoy my shaves, especially with all that's going on. It's more important than ever for me to enjoy this time that I'm sharing with you. Okay. The blade in here, by the way, is Persona Lab Blue, and I will link all the products below, and that is fantastic. It is the uh, third use on this blade, which is where I stop with almost every blade um, in terms of double-edged razor blades. That's just fantastic. This is a very efficient shaver. The Tama Slim, got nice rinse ports on the bottom there. Feels great. Just a really nice shaver overall. I really enjoy this razor. And I want to remind you all, coming up this Friday, we have Moon Soaps on Real Talk. I'll put the, the slide up there for a moment. I hope you'll join us on Instagram live, 8 p.m. Eastern time. That is 5 Pacific, I believe. And we look to have a good time with the good folks at Moon. And of course, I'll be rolling in a couple of Moon Soaps this week, even though I have a lot of newer soaps to get to. I've had this one... Uh, this creamy coconut laying around for a long time. 
and I haven't been able to get to it. Uh, so basically, if you like coconut, you'll probably like it. If you're opposed to coconut, you won't like it. It is definitely a, you know, it's creamy coconut, so that's what you're going to get. Very, very simple, but nice, pleasant. In fact, I made the uh, lather in the bowl just before my wife got up, and she came into the bathroom, and uh, when she left, she said, hey, that coconut smells good in there. So she likes the scent, so that's a win on that one. So a quick update in terms of the health of uh, my mom. She's doing okay. She just has no energy. Now, my sister is there, so she's there to sort of help out and check in on her. Um, and I'll be making another trip back soon because, as I mentioned before, my dad is disabled in a wheelchair. So he can do some things, but like going to the store and stuff like that's kind of a, a challenge for them. And when my mom's not able to do it, you know, we have to help out. And my sister has been, she's there locally. So she, she helps out, uh, almost all the time, but I try to give her some relief because she has young children and they're involved in activities and she's working full time and all that too. So I'll be making another trip down in a couple weeks to stay with them when, uh, my sister goes on vacation. Uh, so that's, that'll be good. We'll, we'll check in, but I'll be uh, calling each day to make sure everything's fine. And if I need to make a trip sooner than that, then that I certainly will. And, um, my mother-in-law's still sort of in the same status and so my wife's really been busy, um, helping there. And so we're just trying to do the best we can under the circumstances. And, you know, just want to, cause I know a lot of you have asked and I've shared that. I just wanted to share that with you. So that fir first pass was fantastic. I'm definitely happy to be shaving <laughs> in my uh, own restroom where it is cool. And, you know, that, that part I really like. Uh, it's always a little warm in the upstairs bathroom uh, in my mother's house, no matter what you do. And the lights there put out a bunch of heat. So whew, it makes it pretty rough and I sort of speed things along. But you know what? I found that uh, in the last week, doing the two pass shaves were very, very good. But realistically, I was doing three passes, but because one of them was kind of the cross, across the grain was sort of on residual slickness. And so if you have a good soap, you should, and you lather it properly or well, you will have, well, you will have good residual slickness. And look at that. I'm just slinging, <laughs> slinging soap on my ear. I don't need to shave that just yet. <laughs> But this is nice stuff, and it really does smell like creamy coconut. Now, they also have um, coconut lime. If I were to strictly make a choice between the two, you know me, I would go for the coconut lime because I love me some lime. I think the coconut lime's, you know, a little more, um, I don't know, it's got more zip to it, obviously, because of the lime. So if you're, if you're going to just choose one or the other for me, um, I would choose the coconut lime, which I'll use again at some point in the near future. I do have a lot of stuff to get to though, so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and go against the grain here. And then we'll maybe uh, do another sort of two and a half pass, let's call it, because I'll do the across the grain primarily on the residual. And I tell you what, this razor is really, really nice. They're great folks at Heimless. They machine their own stuff. They don't outsource it. Not that that's a problem but they machine it in-house at Timeless. And uh, they really do a do a great job. They're not inexpensive razors and they're not meant to be. They're certainly in the premium realm. And I understand that uh, premium offerings are not for, for everyone. That's entirely okay. If you prefer to use uh, less expensive razors, I certainly don't have any problem with that. And I own a lot of them and I like them. I like a little bit of everything though when it comes down to it. When it comes to hardware, I've always found it's it's a little easier to justify, you know, spending a little more because this razor is an heirloom type piece that, you know, I'll be able to hand down to, to someone. Um, maybe my grandkids or something like that. And so we're gonna do a sort of cross the grain pass here on just on residual. That is very nice. Still. Lots of residual slickness there with the sterling, so no problem doing that. And again, I will caution new folks. It's not a practice you should probably do shaving over areas without soap, but 
I know I can get away with it. And you may too over time, but don't start out that way. Anyway, um, really, really nice razor here, shaving very nicely. And the soap is just very, very pleasant. Is it the most dynamic scent in the world? Is it gonna blow your socks off? Probably not. Um, but it's nice and pleasant. It just kinda, at least for me, just kinda makes me feel good, you know? All right, very nice, very nice. Just trying to make sure I get all this here because on the neck, it's sort of a, uh, that's where the pain is. In terms of getting clothes, it's also the most sensitive area of my face. Might be for you too. Some people have different areas of sensitivity, but the neck is uh, often the most sensitive um, for people. May not be for you, and if it's not, that's great. It is for me, of all the areas of my face, that is the most sensitive. And even when I shave my uh, mustache and goatee area, um, my neck was still the most sensitive. It wasn't under my nose, it wasn't my chin. And for the years that I shaved that area, which was quite some time with traditional shaving products, including shave and straight razors, I never had any problem shaving this stash area or chin. There are more curves and contours, so it's a little more difficult, but it's not rocket science. So whenever you hear people, you know, acting like that is splitting atoms, it's not. I've done it. Most of us have done it, even those of us who... I've shaved our head and now we need the goatee to sort of create some contrast on our face. Chances are a lot of us shaved our entire face at one point in time. And I certainly did. And you can see those videos on the old channel there, on the old eye lather channel. But uh, I never had any problem. I don't think I ever cut myself um, below the nose or in the chin or anything like that. Just never had any issue with it. So it's Shaving generally is not rocket science and it requires only a, um, it doesn't require tremendous dexterity even with the straight razor. You do have to be more careful, but it's not, you know, it doesn't require super finesse, it requires some finesse. But sometimes I think we make it seem more difficult than it is. And uh, I tell you what, this has been a nice shave today. The time was slim. Was not disappointed. It has allowed for us to get a great shave once again. And of course the sterling, it always does that. So this has been a nice shave. All right, let me uh, rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we used our alum, no stinging. So that was super smooth shave. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse and then applied our Thayer's. This is cucumber, yeah. Cucumber Witch Hazel by Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. That was a super nice shave today. Now, Nick's cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, troubles. You just can't beat it. Excellent shave today with sterling creamy coconut. Again, not a dynamic scent, but a pleasant scent. If you like coconut, you may very well enjoy it. If you don't like coconut, the scent of coconut, I would steer clear for sure. But great stuff as always from sterling. And of course, our timeless slim Razor is awesome as well. Great job today um, from the Timeless Razor with the uh, Persona Lab Blue Blade. And we will finish it off today with the Sterling Creamy Coconut Splash. And it's got a little bit of menthol in there because we wanted to get a little cooling. And I hope wherever you are, you're having fantastic shaves today. I hope you're well, hope your family's well, and I hope everything is going great. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.